What is up everybody and welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. So this is shop vlog two in a row. We are on, what episode is this? I believe this is episode four technically of the shop build process of, well just progress on the shop space. Let's get to showing you what we're working on today. So for today, we've got the, we've got the horses inside. It's a little bit chilly. It's not too bad, but it's a little bit chilly. Trying to finish more of this wall. For sure that one. We've already got our board ready. We're gonna be cutting it here. We are running low on plywood. You know, the OSB boards, we are running a little bit low on that. For the ceiling, I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna do for the ceiling, but of course I know you have to insulate the ceiling, otherwise, you know, heat rises and you're gonna lose all your heat anyway, so the insulation of the walls would be useless. Uh, but in terms of the ceiling, what should we do? What should we do? I have some ideas. I have some ideas. I'm gonna run them by a couple people, but I do have an idea for the ceiling. For now though, we're gonna to get to cutting this. We're gonna piece this up on that wall, and then we're also going to work above there. I need to run a strip of OSB board up above there, uh, above the doors, because I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the doors yet. That is going to get addressed, but keep in mind it's coming up onto the summer months, so I have until winter or you know really like fall to get this situation dealt with in garage doors on because until winter comes back around you know almost a year from now we're not really gonna have to have the heated shop anyways but I just wanted to get it done before it gets blazing hot and before it gets cold so I figured this is a good time to get it done let's get to the progress on this for everybody who entered to win the 2173 power stroke with five thousand dollars thank you so much the entries are with the administration that's gonna be doing the third party drawing and we should have a winner in approximately one week approximately one week it could be a little bit longer it could be a little bit less but approximately one week we should hopefully have a winner we might actually take a small break from the truck giveaway thing just for a couple weeks compared to like what we normally do which is like back to back within a couple days we start another one probably gonna give it just a couple weeks so we can work on the shop work on some project stuff and just work on like new home stuff that I could really got to catch up on and deal with and then we'll get right back into it but uh, stay tuned guys hope you enjoyed the video let's get into finishing up some more of the shop. progress so far all that back there we got the boards up on top there with insulation back behind we've got all that wall right here all finished up it looks pretty good so um, progress slowly but surely progress is happening slowly but surely but it's happening got the horses in here keeping me company yeah next step is going to be removing the plywood off this wall that they had put on there getting the post taken off getting that cross bracing taken off i'm planning to refasten on either those two by fours just again with probably three and a half or three and three quarter inch screw something like that to fasten it through the osb and back into the boards that they were already fastened to but instead of using nails using screws you know but i don't know if it's completely necessary anyhow given the fact that instead of having that one board for corner bracing we're literally tying together the entire walls top to bottom with all of this osb and i'm using one and five eighths inch screws and these are only seven sixteen you know OSB boards, so my screws are that long and the board's only that much, so it's really tying these things in nicely, but of course not going through and poking the steel on the outside. Um, but anyway, so I don't know. I'm planning on putting them back anyhow, but I do need to remove them just to be able to fasten on the OSB, the insulation, all that stuff. But comment down below. Do you guys know if any anybody out there that works in construction type of stuff a lot, do you think it's necessary to put these boards that go from here down that are just you know, they're just nailed on. They're not they're not even like uh, screwed together. They're just nailed for stability purposes, I'm guessing before all the steel and everything was fastened on the barn. If I completely tie everything together side to side, is it necessary to put those back? Yes or no. Thank you guys so much. Stay tuned. I gotta let my camera battery charge back up and then we're gonna get back at it.
probably where I'm gonna have to wrap it up for today just because, man. What, what time did I come out here? I think I was out here by 10, 10 a.m. And it's 5.30, so, uh, yeah, it's been a while and it doesn't seem like I've gotten that far, which sucks because you would think, okay, you're hanging a couple of sheets of OSB and some insulation cutting and measuring and stuff like that. Trust me, I know. When, you, when you're out here for like six hours and you're like, wow, I didn't really get very far. It's kind of discouraging. Let me show you what we got done. Of course, on the time lapse, it's gonna seem like we've been out here for like three minutes, but that was literally hours between dismantling that wall, dismantling that wall, you know, cleaning it with a broom, which took forever, and then cutting and piecing in insulation, which I didn't even get that on video because it was so time consuming. I'm like, this clip's gonna be forever. Cutting and piecing the insulation is the most time consuming part just because it's so messy, there's not a fast way to cut it, You're just using a razor and breaking it apart and fitting it and stuff like that. So it just takes a while. I mean, I wish there was a faster way to do it. It just, it just takes a long time. So anyways, got that all cut up, pieced in, and then we got the wall put in with all the OSB over top, of course. And here's all of the materials that came off of that wall. It's just like several sheet, like three different sheets, two smaller, one bigger sheet of OSB, some big heavy half inch. And then there's uh, two by 12. And then there was like just some other random stuff. There's just stuff that I have to pry off the walls and pull out all that jazz. It really didn't do any damage other than like pulling off a little tiny piece of material in that one spot, I think. You know, a little teeny tiny chip in the wood there, nothing bad. And then that's it. That was really the only two spots where it kind of, kind of uh, did any kind of damage, I guess you could say. But yeah, this wall, I mean, it's freaking solid. <laughs> it's awesome. It's definitely one of those jobs, like I said yesterday, like it takes a long time. More, it takes longer when you're by yourself because in the same amount of time yesterday, we did all of that, you know, but I had two other guys here. You know, my, my brother and his friend, and they're both, you know, they're both young kids. They're both 16, I'm pretty sure. I think they're both 16. It just helps when you have more people that know what they're doing that can just kind of help you out. We'll get it done. I think tomorrow I'm gonna have those two come back over and we're gonna try to knock out a whole bunch more stuff. In terms of materials up to this point, I think just to do all of this OSB and insulation, and that was 20 sheets of one and a half inch insulation are a 7.5. 7.5, one and a half inch. The reason I did one and a half is because I wanted it to completely fill that gap between the two by fours and, you know, the OSB. I didn't want there to be any kind of air space. I wanted it to be completely insulation in between here because, you know, everybody knows if you work with, you know, any kind of lumber, it's, it's never an exact measurement. The two by fours are actually a one and a half. And so it, that insulation just fits perfect. And that's a wrap for the day. Another day down. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash that thumbs up and leave a comment down below. I gotta know because I get a lot of comments saying, yes, I enjoy the shop build vlogs. And then the videos of that seem to get a little bit less view content and a few less likes. So if you do for sure enjoy this, please leave a thumbs up so I know. If you do, please leave a comment and I'll keep on doing it until this is done. And then of course, when the trucks come back into the picture with more truck stuff we have going on, like when we pick up the first gen and just other stuff like that and start swapping all the parts and building that truck, that's of course all gonna be on video, but I'm trying to get the shop done as fast as I can before we get that truck back so that we have a shop that's clean and we can get all the stuff out of here so we have a full shop to work on that truck. So it's not gonna be like this content for very long, but if you wanna see this every day, hit the thumbs up. If you don't, let me know, because trust me, it's easier to not film. Anyways, guys, thank you so much. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Stay safe out there. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.